A trader works on the floor at the New York Stock Exchange, NYSC, in Manhattan, New York City, U.S., August 20, 2021. Reuters slash Andrew Kelly. Summary U.S. producer prices rise solidly in August Apple falls after Fortnite case ruling Kroger falls at shipping woes hurt margins indexes, Dow minus 0.16 percent, S&P 500 minus 0.08 percent, Nasdaq minus 0.01 percent. Sept 10, Reuters, Wall Street was mixed on Friday as investors weighed signs of higher inflation, while Apple Inc. Apple.O. tumbled following an unfavorable court ruling related to its App Store. U.S. producer prices rose solidly in August, leading to the biggest annual gain in nearly 11 years and indicating that high inflation was likely to persist as the pandemic pressures supply chains, data showed. Read more. Sentiment also took a hit from Cleveland Federal Reserve Bank President Loretta Mester's comments that she would still like the central bank to begin tapering asset purchases this year despite the weak August jobs report. Read more. The S&P 500 has risen almost 20% in 2021, buoyed by support from dovish central bank policies and reopening optimism. However, Wall Street has moved sideways in recent sessions as investor digest indications of increased inflation and concerns about the Delta variant's impact on the economic recovery. Investors are also uncertain about when the Federal Reserve may begin reducing massive measures enacted last year to shield the economy from the pandemic. The market is taking a breather, said Greg Bassett. CEO of AXS Investments. Investors are looking for some outsized news or information that is beyond the band of expectations, something much more outsized, positively or negatively, that will give investors better visibility into how things are going to look for the balance of the year. Apple fell 2.6% after a judge struck down a core part of its App Store rules, benefiting app makers. Read more. Shares of app makers rallied, with Spotify Technology, Spot.n, Activision Blizzard, Advi.to, and Electronic Arts, EA. Oh, each gaining about 3%. In afternoon trading, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, DJI, was down 0.16% at 34,822.07 points, while the S&P 500, Dot SPX, lost 0.08% to 4,489.53. The Nasdaq Composite, DotXIC, dropped 0.01% to 15,246.75. The three main U.S. indexes got some support early from news of a phone call between U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese leader Xi Jinping that was taken as a positive sign which could bring a thaw in ties between the world's two most important trading partners. Seven of the 11 S&P 500 sector indexes were lower, with utilities, .spoku, and healthcare, .spxhc, among the weakest, down 0.8% and 0.7%, respectively. U.S. listed DD Global, DD.N, fell 3.5% after Chinese government officials told leading delivery and ride-hailing companies to improve how they distributed incomes and ensure rest periods for workers. Read more. Grocer Kroger Company, KR.N, dropped 8% after it said global supply chain disruptions, freight costs, discounts and wastage would hit its profit margins. Advancing issues outnumbered declining ones on the NYSE by a 1.06 to 1 ratio, on NASDAQ, a 1.01 to 1 ratio favored advancers. The S&P 500 posted 15 new 52-week highs and 3 new lows, the NASDAQ composite recorded 52 new highs and 41 new lows.